as our networks grew and we had internet connectivity, we had connections from the outside, we have wireless networks, we have 802.1x, we have all of these different ways to authenticate onto our network. And because of that, we needed some type of standard that was a standardized way of authenticating. And we came up with EAP, the Extensible Authentication Protocol. And just like the name sounds, it's a standardized way to configure whatever you might be using to be able to authenticate to that device, to your resource, to your network, or whatever it happens to be. There are so many different ways to authenticate using EAP, and there are standards set up for each of those methodologies. EAP is commonly used on wireless networks. In fact, for WPA and WPA2, there's five different EAP types that you could choose to use. And you would configure your access point or your wireless clients to use the EAP type that's right for you. EAP is not a protocol. It's not one that is a standardized packet that's going over the network. It's a framework. It's a way of providing this authentication. You would wrap that methodology within something else. It would be over a wireless network or over an 802.1 network to be able to provide that authentication. That's why there's so many different standards, because you need a standard way of doing it over wireless. You need a standard way of doing it over dial-up. You need a standard way of doing it over the LAN. If you are doing EAP over the LAN, you're probably using 802.1x. You're providing a port level access. Nobody can get into our network until they've authenticated. I can't just walk into a conference room and plug in my device. I first have to authenticate, and it's this 802.1x protocol that uses EAP to be able to provide that authentication. Prior to having an EAP standard in wireless, Cisco came up with their own proprietary way to do it called LEAP. It's the lightweight extensible authentication protocol. It was proprietary to Cisco. It uses passwords only. There's no real certificate management. It's not extremely complex. And it's based on MS CHAP. And there are a number of security problems with doing that. So this particular standard didn't stay out there very long. Cisco has since started work with Microsoft and RSA to create PEEP, that stands for Protected Extensible Authentication Protocol. And it sets up this EAP in an encrypted tunnel, a TLS tunnel. And it uses certificates to be able to maintain the privacy and the encryption between. So if whether you're using an internet connection, you're coming in on a wireless connection, you're connecting to a port in a conference room, you're probably using some type of EAP to provide that authentication.